Hi, Sagittarius. This is Jeffrey. Uh, happy birthday if it's your birthday this week. This is Ripe Color. This is your reading for November 27th through December 4th. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. Please become a member. Membership is $2.99 a month and allows you to access these videos commercial free. I offer private readings. Get yourself a birthday reading. And uh, please visit my website, ripecolor.com. Subscribe to my newsletter because I offer specials. And um, and I still have some scarves available for purchase. Make a great gift. La, la, la. Be yourself. I'll hold that pot gifts less. <laughs> And my, but the, so the little mini message is kind of odd. I always say that. It's like, okay, I'm doing my thing. You do your thing. It, it's a little bit, um, it's like, I'm doing my thing and you can do your thing and that's cool. And I'll do my thing. And maybe one day our things will come together, but maybe not. And that's cool too. In other words, it's like, I'm not waiting for you or whoever to like either help me or approve of me. It's like, I got my thing to do and I'm gonna do it. And you got your thing to do and you're gonna do it. And then maybe we'll meet tonight for dinner and talk about your thing and my thing. A little bit like that. All right. Not the most eventful uh, message. I'm not getting really eventful messages so far this week. Sometimes it's like, oh, but not this week which is fine. Sometimes it's nice to take a little break. All right. See, I think the energy has shifted and I think we all have to get used to it. This new, I think it's easier and it flows better. And it's sort of like, you know, I think we were in the rapids, all of us to collectively for a while. And it's sort of like now we've hit a, 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 like a, a calm part of the river and it's sort of like, okay, I got to get used to this too. Hmm. If I give up a habit or a way of thinking, then I can start, when I say I, I mean you, then I can start a whole new chapter and build something new and, and work towards something new that's fertile, that's uh, productive, that's, um, I want to say generous. Yeah, I, you know, maybe what I'm letting go of is the grief. What I'm, maybe what I'm letting go of is the grief. Oh, excuse me. And that, you know, the driving myself crazy with it. Yeah, I'm coming out of the dark, actually. I'm going to come out of the dark with the help of people around me. So that's the thing here, too, is that even though I'm doing my thing and you're doing your thing, right? I could always call you and say, listen, I really need to talk. Or I could always call you and say, what are we going to do together? How are we going to, right? Because, you know, sometimes just to have a friend that you could talk to, that will listen to you, that you go have lunch with or whatever it is, to say, mm, this is what I think was going on or is going on. And I just need someone to listen to me. There's a little bit of that going on um, so that I can let go of it finally. Because I want to let go of it and move on and move into something new. And, you know, the grief has been keeping me in stitches, so to speak, but there's community there. And this could also, you know, they're in the church. So there's also this notion of not just community of people, you know, or of, uh, you know, a, a group, you know, could also really be communing with your, um, with your higher self, with your guides and angels and, you know, really giving it to them and saying, you know, I've had a lot of grief over this situation or this whatever, and I'm ready to let go of it. I'm ready to move on and, you know, move into a new story. And what actions do I need to take in order to like do that? Because I'm, I can't carry this burden any longer, you know, and I don't really want to take on stuff that's not mine. I want to move forward into the future and create something. And I want to be really clear about what it is that I want to create. That's really balanced. 
this thing we're learning. I feel like everyone's sort of in this little, mm, it's not like an eventful week, but I think it's like an interior week where we're sort of shedding something and um, moving into the next phase. But it, it's a little bit, you know, when you're waiting for something to be ready in the oven, like I did everything, I chopped everything, right? I put it in the oven and now it's going to take an hour or two for it to be ready. And that's where we're at, that we're in that like, okay, you know, I've taken action and it'll be ready when it's ready or it'll pass when it passes. You know, I've done everything I need to do. Maybe I called someone, maybe I asked for help. Maybe I, you know, I communed with my higher self and said, you know, I don't really want this anymore. Um, I take it away and I'm ready to receive new blessings. But there's there's a little bit of space in between those two things. That's what I'm getting. All right. Letting go of a habit so you can start a new story, plant new seeds that are more balanced, having really clear thinking. Um really getting in touch with the help that's out there, whether it's out, whether it's outside of you or inside of you, to let go of the bondage and the grief and the and the uh, the burden, not taking on other people's stuff, having a strategy toward creating something new that's fertile and balanced and um, maybe even something that's spiritual. You know, it's a nice reading, you know, but it like you're my third, you know, I was super different order. And it's not one of those weeks where it's like, ah, it's it's not one of those weeks. It's a, like a little bit like, okay, we're getting used to it. You know, like settling into a new space, settling into a new jaw, settling into, you know, when you get in bed at night, sort of like you got to like adjust yourself until you're able to like, oh, a little bit like that. All right. Blessings. I offer private readings. Don't be shy. See you soon.